Tim. My dear son, this is going to sound strange, but there's this family secret that the men in the family can travel in time. Wow. Tim, I think, is pretty, you know, content with life, but he doesn't have a girlfriend and he's very awkward with uh, the ladies. <laughs> this is why the notion of being able to go back and not say the embarrassing thing and just not make a fool of yourself is so attractive. Oh, nice. It's my area. When you get down to it, you can do the day again and again and again till you get it right. His father and him have a real kind of nice relationship and kind of talk about things. You know, very loving, very warm. Any first thought? It would be just great if it could help me get a girlfriend. Wow, massive. I'm Tim. I'm Mary. I love your eyes. Do you? I love the rest of your face too. I haven't even looked further down, but I'm sure it's all fantastic. And that initial spark of what happens between them is so special, it's so natural. It was the perfect meeting. If you tried to make that more perfect, you would fail. When she meets Tim, she blossoms, and she's so grateful to hit it off with someone. Will you marry me? I think I'll go for... Yes. The biggest thing that's ever happened to him is this person loving him back immediately. The time travel thing destroys all that. It turns it on its head. It's so good to see you. We've never met before. Oh, no. He's really, really, really messed up. He has to go about trying to find Mary in a normal way, not in a time travel way. What do I do? You have to use it to make your life the way you want it to be. So wake me up when it's all over. One of the things that really mattered to me about the film is that it's a film about family as well as a film about time travel as well as a film about love. It is so romantic. It pulls on that idealistic side of us. What if, and what if I could do it all over again? And yeah, at the end of it is maybe just do it once really well. I hope I see you again. You will. My whole life depends on it.